What's up guys, it's the Warrior COTP here, back with another My DVD Collection, part 36. Uh, so today, we're, or this video, sorry, um, we're going to be doing nothing but random uh, DVD buys and finds. Uh, so it's all going to be random stuff, it's going to be either stuff from Goodwill, eBay, Dollar Tree, um, Probably not too much from Second Avenue because this part of my collection, uh, I didn't really shop at Second Avenue that much uh, because I moved out of that area. But at any rate, we'll start with this one. We got a double feature, and I'm pretty sure both of these were made for TV. Um, it's the Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno, Incredible Hulk. These movies, uh, I'm pretty sure, were made after the TV show. Uh, two full movies, uh, Incredible Hulk Returns and The Trial of the Incredible Hulk. And The Trial of the Incredible Hulk has uh, the Daredevil in it. Uh, it's really good. You can actually watch that one on YouTube for free. Uh, I've done it before before uh, I had this. <clears throat> Both good movies, though. One of my favorite TV series is growing up. Next, we got the classic uh, Disney, uh, Babes in Toyland. And uh, this cast back then was pretty big. I think uh, Annette Fancello, Tommy Sands. There's a few other people in here too. Ed Wynn. Great uh, Christmas movie. If you want a good Christmas movie, I would definitely suggest that. I waited a long time to come across that. I ended up finally finding it for somewhat cheap on uh, eBay. Next, we got a Goodwill find. This is, I guess, like a um, nature biography of uh, the Smoky Mountains, exploring the Smokies. This could be, I guess, from Tennessee and some of the surrounding states. Um, DVD extra bears of our national parks so it shows the bears in the national parks I think we saw that church uh, when we went to uh, Tennessee a four season tour so this uh, looked pretty uh, interesting so I bought it nothing wrong with a good uh, documentary and if you're new to the channel, I put this up here so you guys can pause it and read it. If you see a movie that might interest you, uh, maybe look up the trailer on YouTube. But just remember, trailers do not give movies justice sometimes. Next, we got a movie I saw, which I like John Boyd a lot. Uh, but I saw this movie, um, and it has Joey Schroeder in it when he was young. And John Boyd, Faye Donaway. And uh, it's called The Champ. <clears throat> it's a boxing movie and it's a uh, snap case. But uh, I saw this movie and, uh, you know, I like boxing movies or boxing in general. So I ended up uh, getting this. Definitely looks like a good movie. I haven't seen it. Look how young Joey Schroeder was. Um, next, uh, I got this collection, uh, I don't want to show what the, all four titles are, it's basically four features, uh, James Earl Jones, Morgan Freeman, Lewis Gossip Jr., uh, and I have this title also on another, uh, collection, and I purposely did not show it because I don't want no controversy controversy on my channel but uh we got blood tide and I've seen that before that's with uh James Earl Jones uh deadly drifter I haven't seen that and um uh, death of a prophet and the third one I'm sure you could look this up if you want to see this uh title uh I'm not gonna like I said I'm not gonna show it 
Matter of fact, I'm not even going to show the back. Um, yeah. Like, it's just a movie title. Uh, but, but the thing is, you know, people like to make beefs out of nothing. So, we ain't going to do that. Um, so, next, we got Major League uh, Baseball. Production presents baseball's most unbreakable feats, and um, Ricky Henderson's actually one of my all-time uh, favorite uh, sports players. It's pretty cool. You got Joe DiMaggio and Ted Williams on the front. I got this because I'm a baseball fan. Pretty cool uh, documentary. Next, we got the D-Train, Jack Black, James Martin. Um, I got this from the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> and this movie is still unopened. Never seen it. Next, we got Burt Lancaster. And Elaine Delon and Paul Schofield and Scorpio. Uh, I like Burt Lancaster as an actor, especially all of his old movies. So I got this. Um, it looked interesting. Uh, I've never seen it before. One day I will watch it. So uh, I showed my Crocodile D. The Crocodile Dundee double feature disc I had and I pr was pretty sure there was a third one um, but I didn't remember I've watched the first and second one a ton of times um, I know I've watched this before uh, but probably only once but it's Paul Hogan Crocodile Dundee in Los Angeles so this was the third one so they did make a fourth one um and that one, I know for sure I couldn't get into. I tried to watch it. I just could not get into that movie. He was like super old. It was kind of stupid. <clears throat> Style wasn't the same. Next, we got Mannequin. This is a classic. With An Andrew McCarthy and uh, Kim Cattrall. And they also made a uh, Mannequin 2. I don't know if they made a Mannequin 3. I'm just speaking from what I know. This is basically about her coming to life. She's a mannequin and uh, he falls in love with a mannequin. Nothing more than a fairy tale. Next, we got John Wayne, uh, Hattari. Uh, one of the classic John Wayne's that is not Western. Next, we got a triple feature. It's Forget Paris with uh, Billy Crystal and... Deborah Winger. Uh, then we got uh, Father's Day with Robin Williams and Billy Crystal. Then we got Billy Crystal and My Giant. And I bought this strictly for My Giant because I ended up watching uh, My Giant and I liked it a lot. And I was like, well, I ain't got these other two movies either, so why not? And it was cheaper than just buying the my giant single for some reason single movies are usually always cheaper than buying triple or double features i don't know why uh it's a plus i mean i i guess it's easier to alphabetize uh single movies than have these double or triple features because then you got to kind of pick which one you want to go with but uh that's my guess uh next we got the original as far as i know punisher that was made, this was a canon movie, um, I'm pretty sure. This is Dolph Lundgren and Louis Gossip Jr. 
Um, but this was made in the 80s. And if you recognize him, he's the Russian guy from uh, Rocky IV that he, Sylvester Stallone had to fight. But uh, if you're a big movie guy, you know who Dolph Lundgren is. I was just telling the people that might not know. <clears throat> Next, uh, this is something I found in South Carolina at um, a Dollar Tree. Uh, it's Turtle Power, the defin definitive history of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I actually watched this twice uh, when I first uh, found this down there. And because uh, where we were staying had a room with a DVD player. And I watched this twice. It was a pretty good documentary. I wish I would have bought another copy of this and never opened it. Because uh, I have a feeling this is going to be worth some money one day. <clears throat> Next, we got the most... Alright, so some people might like this, so I'm not going to bash it too much. But it's... Actually, no, this is the good one. I'm sorry. The Les Miserables with Liam Neeson. I thought this was the one with Hugh, Hugh Jackman. This is actually a good one. Uh, this was made, I think, in the early 2000s, late 90s. Uh, this one was actually good. Les Miserables um, had, just like Cal and Monte Crisco, has made a bunch of different versions, or The Christmas Carols made a bunch of different um, takes on this movie throughout the decades. Um, this is a good one. I was about to bash it, sorry. Next, we got Roxanne uh, with Steve Martin and Daryl Hannah. This is based off, uh, this is basically a modern day Cyrano de Bergerac. Um, if you ever seen that, I got a couple copies of it. It's a good movie. Uh, but this is a modern day one and it's with Steve Martin. And there's definitely, uh, some poetry and rhyme in this movie, just like in Cyrano de Bergerac. Next uh, is another Universal Western collection, The Far Country with James Stewart. Now, I was on YouTube yesterday, and if you watch this video, shout out to you. Uh, I forgot the guy's name. I think it was just uh, my DVD collector or something, or DVD collector or something. But he had uh, all the Jimmy Stewart movies, uh, not all of them. I noticed he didn't have a couple that I really like, like uh, Seventh Heaven, old movie about World War II where he's in Paris. Uh, but anyway, I'm going off topic here. But uh, uh, yeah, this is a Jimmy Stewart movie and uh, definitely one of the classics of his. Put that up there so you guys can read it. Walter Brennan's also in this. Next, we got the right stuff. How the Future Began. Winner of four Academy Awards. And this is also a snap case. An instant American classic. Now, I've seen this before, but it's been so long, I couldn't tell you what it's about, except space. Next, we got Eminence Hill. This is with Barry Corburn, Lance Henriskin, and Dominique Swain. And it's Eminence Hill, a Robert Conway film. In this town, there is no good, uh, no good guys. Now, if you guys don't recognize him... He was the bad guy in Hard Target. He was the guy chasing after Jean-Claude Van Damme. But uh, I've never seen this, but it's a Western. And it had him in it. And uh, it was definitely pretty cool. Uh, looking case, so I got it. So next movie uh, is Another Woman. And this is unopened. 
Um, I've never seen this movie. Um, it has Rebecca Dor D De Mornay. I think that's how you say her name. And uh, it said it's on open. And I got this from the Dollar Tree. So, who else is in this? I might recognize some of the names. Gene Hackman's in it. Maybe she isn't in it, but um, I thought it was. Oh, well. So, Gene Hackman's in it. That's good enough. He's a good actor. But, uh, yeah, so next we got Canadian Bacon. And this is another movie, uh, John Candy. And I found this also at um, the Dollar Tree. And I said, you, you uh, hit home runs every once in a while at Dollar Tree. And like I said, you find a lot of MGM movies there at Dollar Tree. I don't know why. I don't know if they got a deal with MGM. I mean, I look at it this way. You know, you're definitely making money off the stuff. Why not? Next, we have Shadows in the Fog. Uh, I found this. Uh, it looked like a pretty eerie movie, like a thriller. Uh, so I ended up getting this. This is an Orion film. Uh, Woody Allen movie. Kathy Bates is in it. John Cusack, Mia Farrow, Jodie Foster, Foster, Fred Gwynn. He's the guy that played uh, Herman Munster. Uh, Madonna's in it. John Malkovich is in it. So yeah, this has a lot of good actors. Uh, actually, glad I picked this up. I mean, I didn't really dig into it. Uh, it's unopened. It's got it. And this is another Dollar Tree find. I actually remember where I got these two. This was a Virginia. All these last ones was a Virginia Dollar Tree because we stopped there for uh, a couple of drinks um, on the way back from uh, South Carolina and uh, when we stopped in there to get the drinks I looked at the movies this next one is Julia Andrews she played in The Sound of Music uh, Max Von Sido and Richard Harris I know Richard Harris was a big actor and this is called Hawaii and this is also on the open um, so I mainly got this because, uh, just because Richard Harris and, uh, um, Julia Andrews was in it. Figured it was probably a good movie. <clears throat> then we got John Henry. Uh, this was also a Dollar Tree find. This has Terry Crews. Uh, Ludacris was in this. Uh, Justice Hits Hard. I got this because, uh, you know, the legend of John Henry. I figured maybe it was like, just like a spinoff or something or modern day John Henry. I have not watched this yet, but I'm sure it's good. Next, we got a classic Nicolas Cage movie. This is way before he ever got really big off of Con Air, became an action star. Uh, this is Vampire Kiss. Uh, I actually found this... Um, way before I bought it, but I did not buy it because I let, I let my uh, son buy it because I found it and I gave it to him and I was like, here you go. Here's an old uh, horror film. And uh, then I ended up getting it the next time I came across it, like a year later. So. <clears throat> All right. Next, we got the last stack, halfway through. Uh, this is an unopened copy, and it's a snap case of Mel Gibson's Forever Young. Uh, first time I ever saw this, uh, I think was on Tubi, and I watched it because I'm a big Mel Gibson fan. And um, put up this right here so you guys can read it. Um, but... This movie is very, uh, it's like, it takes place uh, like old days and ends up 
in the new days, if that makes any sense. Here, let me put that up so you can read that real quick. Pause that if you want, and I'll put it here so you can read this. But yeah, this has um, um, Mel Gibson, um, Elijah Woods, and Jamie Lee Curtis, and you can see the other names if you want to read them. Uh, but I'll tell you what, real quick, what this movie is about without spoiling it too much. So the guy, Mel Gibson, is engaged to his fiance, and she basically ends up dying. And this takes place in like the 40s or 50s. And then he goes into uh, a machine that's supposed to like take back time or something. And his friend that made the machine that's part of the military too, um, ends up passing away. Then when he passes away, no one ever knows he's in this uh, thing. Well, it ends up getting sh like just kept in this uh, warehouse, and these kids sneak in of this um, um, military warehouse, and they end up like undoing the machine. And he basically comes out like 30, 40 years later, or whatever it is, and um, he basically kind of falls in love with the one kid's mom and then I don't really know much more um, to it than that I kind of forgot it I just know it's a really good movie plus it's probably good that I don't I'd probably spoil it so yeah check that movie out if you want to see a good movie next we got um, I bought this um, because I remember my mom uh, had a bunch of these Turner clues Turner Classic Movies uh, four sets, and I remember, she, and they have slide cases like this. Uh, I remember she paid really good money for these back in the day, so I have a feeling these are going to. For I bought these, I think at um, um, Habitat Restore for like fifty cent or something. But I know one day these are going to be a decent amount of money. But you got Key Largo. With uh, Humphrey Bogart, you got Blood Alley with John Wayne, Dark Passage with um, Humphrey Bogart, and uh, I forgot his name, but uh, Designing Women what is his name. Gregory Peck, that's it. But uh, yeah, this uh, that's why I got this set. Those movies are good too. I've seen uh seen at least uh three of those movies on the back. I don't think I've seen the Gregory Peck one. I might have when I was real young. So next we got Lucille Ball and Henry Fonda, and yours and mine and ours. Uh this was a Dollar Tree find. Next, we got Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Uh, I see that this ain't really coming up clear that much. Maybe it's the wrapping, why it ain't coming up clear. But this is one of these uh, real thin cases. I've said it before, if my whole collection was these thin cases, it would take up probably one third of the room uh, for a collection. But, you know, being all my stuff is mainly normal side stuff, kind of looks kind of awkward in the collection. But I basically collect anything Alice in Wonderland I find. I don't care what rendition, what what copy of it, so I end up buying it. And uh, as you can see, it says DVD $1. Uh, there was a period in time, uh, I remember back in the, uh, like, I'd say around like 2008, 2005 era, um, a lot of places would have dollar DVDs on their counter, uh, 7-Eleven, many different places. And, uh, you know, it was just like a little uh, fad that went on for a couple of years. And that's where probably a lot of these stemmed from. 
<clears throat> Next, we got Space Camp with Kate Capshaw, Leah Thompson, Kelly Preston, and Lee Phoenix. If you guys recognize him, he's the uh, guy from uh, uh, Police Academy and Nerds, Revenge of the Nerds. Actually, yeah, just Revenge of the Nerds. Another 80s movie. And then we got In the Heart of the Sea. Uh, I've never seen this movie, but the times of when, when this movie uh, took place... It looked interesting to me, so I ended up getting it. I have not watched it yet, one of these days. Next, we have Our Gang. Uh, four DVDs, 20 features. The East Side Kids. Leo Gorsi. Um... Hunt Hall and Bobby Jordan. And if you guys, uh, these were the East Side Kids, a.k.a. the Bowery Boys. Uh, they were also in a uh, movie with Humphrey Bogart called Crime School. Now, I don't know which one originated first, but um, I love Crime School. But yeah, it comes two different DVDs. So this is the East Side Kids. And those are all the movies on it from the East Side Kids. Eight movies over eight hours. Then you got Our Gang. And this is basically the Little Rascals. Twelve episodes over four hours. I guess these are the episodes. It's a pretty cool set. And I got this for $4.29. Um, my opinion, uh, I paid for it. <clears throat> and I think it was worth it. But as far as um, uh, prices go at uh, Goodwill, I definitely felt like I paid a little bit too much. But, you know, I would have easily paid for 5 bucks for that on eBay. Next, we got uh, The Marshes, and this is a Shudder original, uh, and I heard Dollar General sells a lot of Shudder originals there, and I don't know how many I got. This is brand new, unopened. Uh, I got from the Dollar Tree. It looked uh, interesting. Look like a Louisiana based uh, like thriller or something, so that's why I got it. Next, this movie is unopened. It's called Wish for Christmas with Joey Lawrence, uh, Leyland Baker, Anna Fricks, and Bill Engel. Engel, I've uh, never seen it. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I got this from the Dollar Tree, too. Yep, I did. Uh, it has Joey Lawrence in it. I guarantee that's why I got it. It's a Christmas movie, too. I thought maybe my wife would like it. Next, we got Merle Street and Sam Neill. Sam Neill is the main actor from Jurassic Park. Uh, Cry in the Dark. Uh, snap case. I got this from Goodwill for $1.29. Both good actors, though. I imagine this movie's got to be somewhat decent. Next is High School High. Uh, I actually um, bought this movie twice. So I, I use the CLZ movie yet. And I bought I bought that at 
or rent that at, I guess you can say, for my DVD collection so I won't buy doubles. Well, this is the one movie I bought doubles of that, um, and I didn't look on my app, and I already had it. So, you know, it's kind of like you shoot yourself in the foot with that. But this is John Lovitz. This is a uh, forgotten comedy. <coughs> and uh, I forgot the other the actress that's in that. This Tia Carrere, that's it. Kai Pfeiffer's in this. Louise Fletcher. Next, we got Friday with Ice Cube and Chris Tucker. Now, I found this movie a bunch, but every time I found it, it always looked like somebody ice skated on it. So I'd never bought it. And I finally bought it, and it was a, or I finally found it. It was a decent copy. And uh, got this at Goodwill for $1.29. But yeah, I won't buy a movie unless it looks like it's uh, mint. <clears throat> Next, we got Reindeer, Family, and Me. This is a BBC Earth movie. Um, I don't know if it's a biography or just like a movie, a family movie. But I knew it was a Christmas movie, so I ended up buying it. And I got this at the Dollar Tree. Looks like it's a movie. So I ended up buying this. I actually got this from a friend at work that worked at the Dollar Tree. Next, uh, we got Marlon Brando, Hollywood Rebel. And this is actually Marlon Brando collection of movies. We got the wild one. The reason why I bought this movie collection was for the wild one. Uh, next, you got the freshman. Then you got one eye jacks. Then you got the chase. So basically, uh, yeah, if I wanted the wild one movie by itself, I was paying a decent bit of money. But since I got it on this multi movie collection set, it was a little bit cheaper. So sometimes that's just the way to go. Now I I talked about this before, and this is this cop. I have like a special edition of Fiddler on the Roof. Um, I bought this um, I think from Habitat Restore, and uh, I already had a copy of it, and I forgot I had a copy of it. So I actually got to give this copy away uh, to someone, you know, somebody that would appreciate it and watch it, not somebody that would just, you know. Put it on eBay to sell it. Because I could do that myself. Uh, next, we got a unopened copy of Double Identity. 70th anniversary. Fred McMurray, Barbara Stanwyck. Barbara Stanwyck was on the Big Valley. Fred McMurray was Father Knows Best, I think. Or My Three Sons, one or the other. I think it was, might have been My Three Sons. Shaggy Dog and... That's that movie. American Movie Classic, digitally remastered. Bonus features on it. And... I got this from uh, Big Lots. Next, I got Vikings, or The Vikings. Um, I, You know, I could have got these also. Um, I bet you I got these from Habitat Restore. Because I'll tell you like this. Even though I've seen this and like this movie, I would have not spent even $5 on it to buy it offline. Not a cut to anybody that would. Because actually... This, I could sell online for way more. It's unopened. It's uh, mint. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I got these at Habitat Restore. I probably paid 50 cents or a dollar. Vikings, too. So, and this was with uh, Kurt Douglas, uh, Tony Curtis, Ernest Borgenine. This is a classic movie.
then we got another um, greatest uh, or Turner Classic movie, uh, greatest classic films. We got Splendor in the Grass, uh, Love in the Afternoon, uh, Jumbo, and uh, now Voyager. That's uh, Clark Gable. Um, I think that's. Um, I don't know. Here, I'm get. I want to spend you all this time. Natalie Woods. In the first one with Warren Beatty. Love in the afternoon would be Gary Cooper. That's who I thought it was. Gary Cooper. I couldn't put it. Uh, his name down. Majambo. It was Clark Gable. Uh, now Voyager. Um, Betty Davis. Got Betty Davis eyes. Uh, doesn't say no anybody else in it, but yeah. So all those, in my opinion, are going to be worth good money, and I only picked them up for fifty cent or a dollar. Next, we got another Turner Classic movie, uh, greatest classic films, and these are all sleeves. Uh, Adam's Rib, um, Woman of the Year, The Philadelphia Story, and Bringing Up Baby. And uh, these both are Cary Grant movies. Um, I think that's Lauren Bacall. And this is Lauren Bacall. And um, I forgot his name. So James Stewart's in one of these. All right, so Adam's Rip. Yeah, Spencer Tracy's his name. But, uh. There you go. Next, we have a copy of The King and I. I also got this from um, Habitat Restore. Actually, you know what? I don't think I got this from Habitat Restore. I think this was part of my wife's DVD collection, this one. I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong. Next, I got The Hounds of Baskerville. I definitely got this from um, Habitat Restore. This is a Sherlock Holmes film. Michael White and Andrew uh, Bronsberg. Dudley Moore. Peter Cook. Comedy with Bite. Next, we have The Fountainhead uh, with Gary Cooper and Patricia O'Neill. Now, Gary Cooper, uh, he is one of my favorite old time actors, and my favorite movie of his is Sergeant York. Next, we got a classic, The Adventures of Robin Hood, two-disc collector's edition with Earl Flynn. When a lot of old people talk about uh, Robin Hood, they think of Earl Flynn and Olivia de Havilland. And uh, the case definitely uh, is pretty cool in this. Looks like at one time there was a sleeve for it. Uh, this uh, is another one of my wife's one from her collection, uh, South Pacific. And it's another thin movie. I think she must have bought like a set and just didn't have the case no more or something for him. So I know she uh, had like three or four of them. Next, we got Singing in the Rain with Gene Kelly, Donald O'Connor, and Debbie Reynolds. Now these are mostly all musicals I'm coming across now. And this is a slide case. 
two disc special edition. This is a classic if you've never seen it, Singing in the Rain. I know probably just about everybody's heard the song. I'm singing in the rain. And I think, um, yeah, I think we covered everything on that. Next, we got Molly and Me, Gracie Fields, Monty Woolley, and Roddy McDowell. And last but not least for this video, we got Carousel. This was another one that, uh, musical that my wife had in her collection. Another thin DVD case. Like I said, I, I think she probably bought a series of these and these were all in one sleeve at one time. She probably lost a sleeve or something. But uh, at any rate, guys, Thanks for watching. If you anybody's new to the channel, it's your first time here and you made it this far, I'm guessing you liked it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And to everybody else, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, go back if you haven't seen all my other collection videos and when I'll be having more collection videos too. And also I'll have you having more eBay hauls and Goodwill hauls. Uh, and I will let you know on the last video, um, uh, when basically my collection is done after I showed you everything. But until next time, peace out.